What's up, beauties? Welcome back to my channel once again. If you're new here, consider subscribing because I feel that my goal is to bring you the most delicious thinking and enhance your intellect to escape velocity. Let's start today's day. I'm quite aware that you guys are preparing to come for winter semester here in Germany. Some of you guys may already be here in Germany. Some of you are waiting for your visas to come. Some of you are planning to come in summer semester. If you fall in any of these categories, make sure that you watch this video till the last because it is important for everyone who's going to come here for studies. I'm going to Auslander Behore, which is the foreign office. The whole point of going there is how is it relevant for you guys? is when you get a visa you will closely notice that you're gonna get visa only for three months or six months why because it's more like an entry visa for germany they will not give you two years straight visa for your duration of your studies you will get an entry visa which is for three months or six months and then that has to be extended by going to Oslana Bihore or a foreign office. I'm going to be talking about what documents do you need when you go to Oslana Bihore, how to get the appointment, if you don't have an appointment, what do you do, it's specific to Berlin. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I get my visa extension done and I'm going to Oslana Bihore, it's 12.30 in the night. Yeah, this is the whole video about it. again early morning really like around 4 4 30 now it totally depends on which city you are in and how the whole uh, infrastructure works there here in berlin at least it's like that temperatures have now started going down uh, for last four or five days since the time i've come back from iceland i've started noticing that autumn has arrived here in berlin and uh, that's why i'm wearing the muffler i'm wearing this hoodie and there's a, one more layer inside um, and then a jacket on top i'm wearing two pants uh, two socks so yeah just to be over prepared you know you never know in the, in the night because i have to wait there whole night there's going to be a lot of people Okay, I'm going to be showing you guys, there's going to be a lot of people, uh, we all have to wait there in a queue until tomorrow morning and then we get a ticket which is more like an appointment on the spot. Well, stick till the last, I'm going to be explaining you guys everything one by one. I've reached Hauptbahnhof, I have to change one bus and from there another bus. Let's go out. Going out of this Hopanov, let me show you the time. Yes, it's gonna be 1 a.m. Let me figure out my bus stop. There are multiple bus stops. This is the bus I have to take, which is gonna come in the next 10 minutes. I think my bus has arrived. Yeah, that's my bus. Coming right behind me. Oh my god, okay. I, I gotta go run, I gotta run, I gotta run. So I just got down from this bus, which is right here. I'm waiting for another bus in the next 11 to 15 minutes. I should be at foreign office and then I'm going to explain the rest of the process, how it exactly goes like once you reach in this building. Actually not in the building, outside building. All right, so as soon as you reach here, you write your name on this list. So I'm arriving like fifth one. It's 125. So this is the building of Auslander Behore, which is foreign office. And yes, this is where they make decisions whether you're going to stay in Germany or not. If you are from Berlin, so this is where you go. Um, there are two places uh, where Auslander Behore is. This is actually the recent one. Not to forget, when I started the vlog, I spoke to you guys about that. You get an entry visa for three months or six months. A lot of universities also do help their students to get their visa extension done. So you simply have to submit your document to them and they will get the work done for you. But just in case if your university is not ready to do or you didn't show up on the time, when they were collecting the passports and the documents so this is actually for you now so just to update you lighting is not that good it's 
3 it's almost 3 30 a.m people have just started gathering here roughly about like 10 people have come i'm on fifth number on the list what i showed you guys so as soon as you come here uh well previously uh out of experiences they have started this tradition that anyone who comes first uh starts the list and start writing your name what time you came here and uh and then the list goes on so every new person who comes here in the night will start writing in the serial number wise so just to maintain the crowd you know more like a crowd management thing in the morning and everything is more sustainable after getting this number i'm waiting for my turn to come and now they're going to collect the document and after that um, they will get a give us an on the spot appointment for today so the clip what you guys just saw is the number which is given by the security at the door where i showed that we are we were supposed to write the name that door opened there was a security guy in the morning and he checked my passport and when is my visa getting expired so my visa was getting expired by the end of this month and they, he let me in with that number all right this is sophie she's from mexico so the time at the moment is 7.35 um, We both have got the appointment on the spot right now and the appointment slots are going to open from 10 a.m. After taking that number we went upstairs on third floor I was waiting in that waiting room and uh, my number was called out and there was a room adjacent to this waiting room where there were like three or four people checking your document they will go through the documents they will take all the file and give you back an actual appointment number Okay, since I went on Thursday, the office was supposed to open at 10 o'clock. So, yeah, I had to wait there. Seriously, you just go to sleep. You should also sleep, you should sleep there. Sophie doesn't want to sleep here. <laughs> she, she's, she's safeguarding, but I really need to take a process has already started I think it's like already 10 30 11 o'clock uh, this room is filled with people and the television what you see right there this is where the token which we have got in the morning that displays there with the room number all right guys so it's 11 11 now I came in the night uh, this is what this building looked like in the daytime now in my case the whole process went pretty smooth so the key to this getting through this whole process of visa extension is one is strong planning two is having all the papers they've asked for so this is the closest urban station uh, where the Kepler Strasse where I was all right so before I even talk about the bigger topic of this video I think let's go back to the basic why did I go there and stood the whole night? It was all because of the appointment. If I would have got appointment online, I wouldn't have had a situation where I have to go and stand in the night. There are not enough appointments available. This is one of the swift and the fastest solution what people are choosing, especially here in Berlin. Um, let me tell you, I have no idea about how things are done in Munich or other places. I'm guessing like something similar would be in, in Munich or Hamburg or these big cities also. Since we have set the whole context, why am I making this video or why did I go out in the night standing outside this foreign office? This was the reason because there are no enough appointments available online. Alright guys, so the first important point which I want you to keep in mind when you're thinking of going for visa extension is check the weather report. All right. If it's a summer, then absolutely no problem. You, you can just put like a one full sleeve shirt, jeans, and um, one socks, and the shoes would do the job. But since it was cold, now it's a winter time, and it's going to get only colder and colder. The temperature last night was around uh, 11 to 12, which is really nothing for this country. Eventually, by the month of November, December, and Jan, and in February, it's going to get extremely cold. Extremely cold. That's why. I'm wearing like a black full sleeve t-shirt inside, one hoodie on top, I have a jacket uh, which I usually wear, um, I'm wearing thermals inside, thick pant, two socks, so yeah, take care of these things so that you don't you don't go through this nerve-wracking weather. Move on to the next point now. There are two Auslander Behörders here in Berlin which is the foreign office, one where I went, meeting the floods, there is one at wedding. So. Honestly, I feel a bit tired. I'm gonna reach home and explain you the rest of the part. 
Tunes Super Tired. Alright, so since 2016, Auslander Behore has opened another building which is where I went, Kepler Schrasa, which is in the Charlottenburg district. Otherwise, previously they had one office where all the work was done which was in Friedrich Krause 24 in the Wedding region. Uh, up north. So who goes to what building and for what purpose? If you talk about Kepler Shasa where I was the whole night, people who can go there is someone who's looking out for study preparation permit if you want to extend your visa, if you are someone who graduated from German University and now looking out for job search visa or someone who wants to uh, extend their language visa permit or someone who wants to go ahead with their blue card category or uh, someone who is visiting as an academic professor or uh, someone who wants to come here as a working holiday visa however in other building which is in Friedrich Krause Ofer in Wedding District if you're a freelancer you go there or an employee who is working here or a job seeker with a foreign academic qualification that's when you go to this other building which is in the north of Berlin in the Wedding District this Hoodie, by the way, is from Reykjavik University when I was in Iceland. This whole series of Iceland is yet to come on my channel. I'm still editing those videos. Soon there's going to be like a power packed uh, videos coming out. With regards to going out in the night and standing outside Ausland Bihore, there are only specific days where you can go out and stand, not every day. Monday, Tuesday and Thursday. These are the three days only allotted where people can come without an appointment take appointment early morning mondays and tuesdays i would prefer to go on these two days because at seven o'clock office really opens and you can really get your work done let's say like 9 9 30. since i went on thursday officially office opens at 10 a.m and that's why it took me around like 11 11 30 to get the work done. Let's talk about the documents required. There are a total of seven documents which they need. I'm gonna go swiftly on that. They're very self-explanatory. First thing what they need is passport. I'm sure you have that. That's why you're here in the country. Uh, second thing which they need is biometric photos. Now you can always go to the photo automats which are all over the city. You get into one of that. Uh, I paid six euros to get four copies of it. You can, if you're expert at making photo at home using Photoshop and clicking by, a f yeah. You can do that just for the measurement for you. Uh, it's 35 mm into 45 mm. That's the measurement. Third thing what they need is the form for Offenthals. Now this is only for someone who is applying this extension for the first time. They have to fill this out. Uh, proof of secure livelihood. Um, now in my case, I showed them uh, the bank account. How much money do I have there? Now a lot of people have this question that on first year when I enter the country, I need to show blocked account. Do I have to show the blocked account next year also? You know you don't have to. Um, instead, that blocked account becomes a savings account. Calculate 700 euros into whatever the remaining months which are left for you to study. So try to show like uh, as much as you can. The other thing what I showed is the six months of bank statement. For last six months, uh, I showed them my bank statement. They want to see whether you're paying all the bills on time or not. I also showed them a part-time job contract which I have, which serves as a purpose of that my income has been coming every month and the contract also specify how much money am I getting paid every month. It puts you in a very positive position. Other thing what they ask you for and very important is health insurance paper. You have to show health insurance paper. So whatever health insurance, whether it's a public or a private health insurance you have, you go to this office wherever you have got this health insurance from tell them that you're going to Ausland to the next day um, you need to show them uh, this piece of paper that you have a health insurance and there is a specific kind of paper for that they will give you that so next thing what i showed them was enrollment certificate you can always get enrollment certificate from the administration of your university you can tell them that hey listen i'm going to a visa extension can you give me enrollment certificate and also what i showed them was the student prognosis so this is something which you have to show which comes from administration of university. Last thing what I showed them is the house contract and Enmildum which is the city registration which proves that okay this is where you're registered and this is where you're staying. These are the documents which they need. As soon as my number was displayed on the screen I rushed to this room and uh, yeah the moment I arrived there officers said everything is clear. Here's your visa, uh, here's a card. There is a card which will be given to you and you have to go one floor down. In my case it was in second floor well the whole point was that go into this machine 
pay 50 euros that's the fees which they charge you for every visa extension as a student in my experience all right guys that's it for today if you enjoyed it hit that thumbs up button and i'll see you guys next time bye bye